didn't want to take our baby's life. That's not who I am. I'm a lover. But you just had to come into my town. Early last year, I knew I wanted to create some kind of a new improv show and maybe direct it. And I was knee deep in Broadchurch, the British drama. And I just got really into it, which is weird because I'm not into procedurals. I'm not into a lot of police shows, uh, but the drama in it, I found really captivating. And I thought improvisers could probably deliver something like that. That was it. That's the last time I ever saw her. And I'm not even a little sad about it. Mike really created a bold, ambitious vision, and together with the cast, we've honed the format. The central idea is that it centers around a small town. We have a longer introduction, which we use to really set the tone of the show. We have some dramatic lighting and sound, thanks to great work by Ray Simeon. But what we're trying to really accomplish in that opening is that as an audience, you're instantly captivated. Whereas last year kind of took a little bit of a buildup to know who are the good guys? Who are the people you should be uh, keeping your eye on? This year, we're hoping to make that impact instant. And we meet a cast of characters, uh, all of whom know each other like you do in a small town. No, no, you're pregnant! How the hell are you out here? <laughs> There's a murder. Well, shit. The improvisers are kind of off to uh, introduce townspeople, give them secrets, and really just have that all heighten throughout the show. As a uh, lighting designer myself, the main thing that I look at is archetypal lighting, which really just comes down to like, what type of lighting will everyone attribute to a certain feel or an emotion. At some point it's revealed who the murderer is. An audience member gets to roll up a die to determine who the killer is. Because the way the show is designed where only the one improviser playing the killer knows that they're the killer, it's a surprise to the audience, to the people in the booth, to the other improvisers on stage. <laughs> what I really hope is that for an hour, the audience can be captivated in a way where they are really living in this small town world and maybe a little tense. And I hope by the end of the night, they kind of leave the theater and it's cathartic and it's something interesting where they can reflect on what they enjoyed about the show and what was it that got them tense. And it's just a different kind of enjoyable improvised show. Thank you.